Okay. Hello, happy to be here. Uh, so I'm going to present to you OpenGraph. Um, first of all, uh, so this is no working software. Uh, it's just proceedings of a hackathon on which we worked at legal start uh, with uh, Annie, who is in the audience. Uh, and the basic team, uh, team is about uh, making software that opens the web. Um, and I, I'll give you a brief introduction about why we are talking about this. So uh, first it's about uh, creating companies, how, how, the, how does the process work, uh, and uh, how to make it like, more open. Um, and so this is called incorporation. So creating company incorporation is the same uh, same thing. Incorporation is today is a is a closed process uh, which is basically uh, updated every 50 years. I'm taking France as a reference since that's where we're working on that. And uh, and we wanted to try to uh, apply lessons from open source world to to that. Uh, and also uh, make things public on, on public blockchains, uh, so as to uh, to be more okay, so as to be more auditable and uh, and have like, um, have public records for companies, which is uh, maintained collectively. Uh, in brief words, uh, I'm going to tell you about how incorporating uh, works today. Uh, so as I was saying, it's, it's a closed process, meaning uh, it's uh, written in law and it doesn't change much. And uh, it's tedious, as you can imagine, especially in France. And the last thing is that it's entirely, this, this process is entirely owned by entities called GREF, uh, and which, is, which are state managed. Uh, and so what, what we would like to do is to uh, start from uh, base principles about what does um, creating a company mean and try to do this with uh, code and, um, and update uh, that uh, and keep state on the blockchain about that. So uh, I'll go through, uh, I'll start really from the basics and that will be most of my, what I explain uh, during this talk. Uh, so a base, base attributes about the company are, uh, as, I, as I wrote there in uh, some pseudo <coughs> code, uh, a name, a list of associates, or founders if you want, and uh, an amount uh, which is uh, allocated to the company, which is usually called capital. Uh, a company indeed is, uh, uh, is, main, is defined as a very, at its very core, as being a set of associates uh, uh, bringing capital together to work on a common goal. Uh, and that's an actual definition of a, of a, of a company. Um, I'm just going to augment this with uh, an Ethereum address because basically uh, uh, if you want to make uh, uh, business on the blockchain, you would, ha you would like to have that. Um, and uh, the idea there is to have a smart contract, so which is going to be a record in which we are going to insert uh, new companies and as they are inserted, it means that they are created and you can identify them from now on. Uh, so this process is basically uh, mimicking, uh, doing m very much uh, 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 closely uh, uh, the same thing as what's going on in real life when you incorporate a company, actually. Uh, but really based on only the, the core principles of it. Uh, I'm going to explain now uh, how this would work in actual real life, uh, and this is how the the, uh, the code that we did uh, is is working more or less. Uh, so associates against founders uh, set up, uh, for example, a multisig address on which they are going to uh, send their their capital, uh, so the the amount which which they want to start doing business. Uh, they submit this to open to the open graph record. Uh, then, as a second step, it's important that there is a, a verifier, uh, which, is, uh, which is going to be an entity, a company, something which is going to do uh, the work of looking up uh, uh, the associates, making sure they exist, 
making sure that the capital has been allocated, and do uh, basically all the stuff that you need to do uh, to make sure that uh, things are in order. Uh, once verifiers have done their job, that's the point where the, com the company actually uh, can be, uh, uh, we can say that it exists from, the, from this point on. Uh, and then the last step is uh, just to give sense to all of this. Uh, you do that so that other businesses can you look you up afterwards. And so, for example, uh, so I'm going to show an example of what we tried to do. Uh, so this merges steps one and two. So basically, you just uh, upload uh, some data uh, about uh, the company. So just, just all the things you need so as to identify the company along with an SEM address. And then the, that's what, where I was saying uh, to give sense to this. Uh, if I am another business, I can, for example, uh, if I want to start doing business with an Ethereum address, I, can, I will look up the Ethereum address uh, through a tool like this one, that is, that, like this screenshot, and, uh, and find, okay, like this address indeed corresponds to a business, uh, and I have details about this business. So it's resolution of a business based on address, on uh, Ethereum addresses. Uh, and this allows, uh, as I said, identifying uh, companies based on their Ethereum address. Uh, and this allows two other, uh, what I think are important uh, values of uh, why do you want to, to register and incorporate companies. It's building long-term trust because then you are, uh, any business that you are going to do with this company, uh, if you are doing good business, you are going to build trust. If you are doing bad business, you are going to destroy trust. Uh, on your company, so that's basically a reputation system. Uh, and also accountability of associates, uh, as you can look up who, who they are based on uh, the company, you can, uh, you can sue them, for example, uh, to, uh, uh, if something goes wrong. Uh, and uh, so what I explained there uh, is actually based on uh, uh, actual uh, law concepts uh, especially uh, what is called Société en Participation in, uh, in French law, uh, which allows to uh, create... So doing this would create a Société en Participation, which has unlimited liability, and you, you, don't, you can't do much of, uh, um, uh, of all the like, um, legal the things with it. So basically, you, you can't build contracts based on the company identification, you always have to link contracts back to the associates. So it's very limited, but it exists. So there is kind of a legal ground uh, to that. Uh, so now I've explained in, in some quick words uh, how I start, to, uh, I start from uh, the base principles of what is a company, and I try to uh, and we try to. Uh, uh, to, uh, to build a new kind of incorporation process. Uh, now, uh, how is it interesting? Uh, so I think, first of all, it's opening a closed system, uh, so, which is m most of what other uh, similar blockchain projects would be doing, uh, replacing the monopoly of graphs, notably. Uh, it's doing things more auditable and secure. Um, so as you move processes on chain, you can audit, uh, audit and verify them. Uh, you can uh, uh, the verifying process, verification process could be. We can think about moving it more on chain, so that that would be an interesting topic. Uh, it allows doing on chain business because I'm linking, uh, I'm mapping Ethereum addresses to companies, and uh, I think one of the interesting points there is also that it opens up the discussion about how uh, the process of incorporating a company is working. Uh, and that's where maybe it relates most to uh, the open source uh, uh, values of that. So, yeah, repeating myself a bit there, but uh, trying to, uh, to bring open source goodness to, uh, uh, to existing uh, processes uh, which are today managed by law is one of the goals of that. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm done. Uh, if you have uh, any feedback, I'm interested in, in that. Uh, and I, as I was saying, uh, that's more about like opening discussion and uh, trying to think about ways we can move existing uh, uh, legal processes to code and uh, innovate on that. Thanks.
Any questions? So the company, the corporation, also needs to be registered with the state, or it's just enough to do this thing and the state recognize it? Uh, yeah, so uh, indeed you don't have to register the company through traditional means uh, to, uh, so let me state it uh, another way. Uh, so if you do the process as I've explained and only this process, uh, you will be recognized as Société en Participation in France. So it, it doesn't bring a lot of, uh, of legal, um, you know, uh, protection or, or stuff but it actually allows you to start doing business. Uh, so that, that's what I, why, why I was saying, starting from base principles. It doesn't bring at all all, the, all of the existing legal frameworks. It's just about the very core. How many companies did you incorporate with this system and how Zero. The <laughs> Excellent question. <laughs> and uh, how is this uh, perceived by uh, officials? Uh, so uh, as, I, as I was saying, it's just, uh, like, it's just an idea uh, so that, we, uh, that we did uh, while working on a hackathon. So that, that, that's, that, that's more of an, uh, at the idea stage. And uh, I, I mean, as a, uh, as a developer, what I found interesting, maybe that answers kind of to your question, is, uh, is to try to think about law as being, uh, as being uh, a set of rules that we could uh, encode somehow. Uh, the, so that's more, that's more of that, right? Like the, the, the result of what, I, what we did, I think, is that. Not more for now. Yeah, so I think very interesting. Um, Thanks. Also, so was it related to legal hackers? Uh, no. So that's a group where they try to bring law and computer. Yeah, I together. heard I heard about that, uh, uh, but no. Yeah, yeah. but um, I think it's interesting because you have a similar concept also in Germany, for example, um, where people can do business, but they have this kind of uh, yeah société en participation mm. um, and doing it on the chain, then you are more accountable and everything you do in this corporation, then uh, it's on the chain and uh, if you have to do your tax declaration or so, you just say, oh, it's here and that's it. I think, right. Yeah. Um, can you explain a bit more about the verifiers? How, how do they work? Do they verify the amount and also the identity? Mm -hmm. like for example, if someone registers in my name, then is it going to be um, approved for? So yeah, thanks. so I, I haven't talked about that about this much, but uh, verifiers would need to be doing uh, uh, so what, what we call due diligence, or it's kind of know your customer. Uh, it's called several ways, but... Uh, you would have to verify that the actual people that, uh, that for example, own the multi-sig address are indeed the people that uh, are going to be registered. So this would need to be done off-chain, right? Uh, they, they don't have a solution to that for now. Uh, there is still time for a couple of questions, if anyone has. All right, let's thank Sadek all again. Uh, so now there's a half an hour break uh, for lunch, and the uh, next uh, talk will be at 1 a.m.